Uh, I was going through my coin purse and found some really, really dirty money. And Torin found some too. Hey, that's too close, dude. I can't see if you're that close. So he had some in his piggy bank, his Lego bank, Torn. So we looked up online some ways to clean money and we found a few that we wanted to try. So we're gonna try one first. It involves a quarter cup of vinegar and a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna put that in here, right? And Torin said this is the one that Bill and I did, we'll try it. So we're gonna shake it up and then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and see how clean it gets. Our second one is gonna be a can of pop. We're just gonna try some soda pop, see if it works. And then our third one, we're actually gonna build an electrolysis machine. Uh, well, a little electrolysis device. I have an old power adapter. Okay, <laughs> you're silly, dude. An old power adapter, you can go stand over there so they can see it. Um, I'm gonna cut this apart, this part here, and we're gonna try some electrolysis on some of these coins and see if that one works. Uh, so we'll try them all and then we're gonna judge them based on how fast they are and um, how well they do. All right, so should we start the distilled vinegar one? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna do a quarter cup of vinegar. Let's get over here. A quarter cup. Let me try and smell that. You like it? Smells good. Okay, so we're going to pour that in here, and we need a teaspoon of salt. There's our salt. Good job. Okay, and we've got four different, or three different sets of coins. Each one has four. It's a mix of different dirty coins. Our first one, we're going to use this. So, do you want to get a spoon out of the cupboard, and we'll mix that around? Okay, I'm gonna put these, well, let's get your spoon first. So these four are gonna go in our salt and vinegar concoction. Do you wanna stir it? Just stir it really soft, so all the salt dissolves. I need to stir a little bit more than that. All right. Coins. We're going to set a timer for five minutes and see how long that lasts. You want to shake this once I get this on? Shake it soft, okay? Just like spin it around a little bit. There we go. Okay, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Uh, we're gonna check this. It looks like this worked pretty well on the copper pennies. The silver stuff. Wasn't this supposed to go in here? Yeah. So it didn't really work out. Hey, use your real voice, dude, not your baby voice. Okay. So, they look kind of funny. They don't look really polished. Yep. Uh, but they do look cleaner. So there are pennies. And let's see. The silver stuff maybe a little bit better. But it doesn't look like it cleaned it all that much, does it? It doesn't. That one looks, that one looks actually quite a bit better. Yep. Okay. So that's just five minutes. In our vinegar and salt solution. Clearly that one needs more work. And those, they look like a little bit weird. Not quite like shiny burnished pennies, but. All right, so for our next one, I didn't have any Coke on hand. I don't, I don't drink Coke. But I have a Diet Sunkist. So we're gonna pour some Diet Sunkist soda in there. And then we're gonna throw our next coins in and let's see how those do after five minutes. You showing them your mood ring? Okay. Hey, Here's mood our, ring. Our sun kiss oh, 10 has citric acid. So there's our sun kiss. We're going to pour that in. Are you pointing to it? Sun kiss 10. So we're going to try this. This is going to be our second experiment. 
we'll put about the same amount in. A little bit more is fine. I'll drink the rest. Okay, and for this one, we've got a really dirty quarter. I've never seen a quarter quite that dirty. I have a a nickel. Dinner. You can see those. And then two pennies that are just kind of dirty and a little bit tarnished. Yeah, that was for mine, probably. Okay, in they go. Torin shook that one, the last one, around quite a bit. And then we let it sit for about three minutes. So he'll shake this one a little bit. And we're going to set a timer for five minutes. Alexa. Set a timer for five minutes. Lid? Five minutes. Starting now. Okay. We We're going to turn lid. it off. Yeah, I'll put the lid on. Okay. It's been five minutes with our soda. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice fresh can. Okay. So. I want some. You want some? I don't think you'd like soda. Uh, let's see if we can fish these out. The result. Well, uh, there's our nickel. You know what? What do we think? It looks a little bit better. So here's our nickel. It was kind of uniformly orange, and now it's not. So the orange soda kind of helped. Um, but it doesn't look like it did much. What do you think on these? It started to do a little bit, but not a whole lot. I wonder if there's just not enough acid in here. So take acid. And then we have another penny in there. It's right there. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to work, but it's clearly much slower than the other one. So that one's slower. To the yeah, certainly the pennies. What do you think? So the pennies and the salt and vinegar, they did really well. I mean, they're a lot cleaner looking. But in the co or in the soda, didn't really do much. Okay, we got to build our electrolysis device. It's going to take a few minutes, and then we'll come back. Dad, I want to try the soda. So, as far as my electrolysis device, basically, I have an old power adapter. Um, the directions I read online said between 6 and 10 volts, and this is actually just 5 volts, so we'll see how well it works. But this is for an old powered USB hub for uh, memory cards, a variety of memory cards, and I have a newer one, so I'm going to just go ahead and use this. Uh, but basically I'm going to cut the cord right here, so you can read power stuff there, but I'm kind of going to cut the cord, split it, and then we're going to attach that to an anode and a cathode. And that should peel some of the coin off. And we'll see how it looks. Yep. Let me go look for those coin offs anymore. I'm looking for a drink of water. Grab a cup. Okay. So I've built my electrolysis device. I used to have some clamps from an old uh, voltmeter and I couldn't find them. I think I may have thrown them out when that voltmeter died. So I just kind of made a makeshift one. So I've got my two parts here, wire separating them. We're going to drop them in here, separate it. I'm going to tape them to the sides. And then we're going to plug this in, my old power adapter. We're going to plug that in. And if all goes according to plan, we should see a bunch of bubbles coming off of the top of this coin. This is a nickel. It's kind of nasty looking. And see it there and we'll leave it in there for like five minutes oh and this is water with some salt in it so we'll see how it works but we're going to drop them in and test it out okay so we accidentally hooked them up the wrong way to begin with so we had the bolt fizzing instead of the coin but we got it fixed we figured it out so now our coin is fizzing like crazy uh, we're going to pull it out. It's been just a couple of minutes the right way, and it looks like we may have messed things up a little bit. But we're going to try it with a different coin, too. So we have this really, really dirty dime. So we may try it with that. And we've got this really, really dirty yeah. penny. Hold it up. you got to hold it so the camera can see it. Yeah. And we've got this. Yeah, okay. So we're going to try it with those and see how it works. But it's been almost five minutes with this nickel. We're going to pull it out, and we're going to take a look. Okay, put that back over here so I know where it is. 
Okay, so our nickel, we clearly did something weird here. It turned it kind of copperish color because we had it on the wrong way to begin with. So we're going to try this really nasty penny now and see if this cleans off that penny. Yep. And it, from what we were reading online, apparently electrolysis removes all of the non-metallic particles from the coin. That's how it cleans it. So I'm going to try this one. And our water is getting kind of dirty, so we'll see. And our stainless steel bolt is getting a little weird looking too. All right, don't touch. We're plugging in. We'll give it five minutes and see what happens on this copper coin. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's been just over five minutes. We're going to take a look at our copper coin, our penny here. Let's see how it looks. And what do we see, dude? Not that dirty anymore. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. It's still dirty. Doesn't look like it did a whole lot to it. Yep. It didn't really do a lot. But it's not It's like it dirt. is eating away at it. So... What do you mean? I don't think it did much for this penny. Uh, yeah. I think that uh, we need to try it with a quarter. So it didn't clean that penny at all. I think that penny must have had acid on it or something. Not sure what's on it, but that penny is not any cleaner. So we're going to try it with this quarter, which was from a different set. That quarter just looks a little dirty. And we'll try sticking that in to our electrolysis bath and see what happens with that one. So, just pulled our quarter out after about five minutes in electrolysis and it doesn't look any better. It actually looks kind of worse. So I don't know that electrolysis is the solution for polishing coins. I think we'd be better off with like baking soda or vinegar. I think electrolysis is better for getting dirt and stuff off of coins. Anyway, there we go. So I think our best solution right now is probably just the vinegar and salt for the copper coins and we got to come up with something better for silver coins. If we look at our results here, the only things that really look well, like improved, are our copper pennies which actually do look a bit cleaner after having sat in the vinegar. Um, and maybe even our dime looks a little bit better. That one doesn't look a whole lot better. So I think the easiest solution is probably salt and vinegar at this point. Okay.